Hello everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to externalize new application logs to Splunk in Cloud Hub 2.0. In Cloud Hub 2.0, we does not have any option to set up log forwarder agent at private space level. So we have a private space created uh, in Cloud Hub 2.0. And here we cannot find any option where we can configure the log forwarder and uh, that log forwarder can send the log for each and every application to the Splunk. So there is no way we can set the log forwarder at one place in Cloud 2.0 and uh, all applications use that setting or I would say actually the that configuration can be used and that can send the application log from each and every Mule application to the Splunk. In RTF, we have a way to set up a log forwarder at one place at RTF and it will send the log for each and every application to the Splunk. But that one time configuration is not available in private space. We need to configure the log for appender in Mule applications log for JXML file and that appender would send the log to the Splunk. In RTF, we have two ways. We can configure the Splunk appender in log4j.xml and we can also configure the log forwarder at the RTF level. So both options are available there. We can do one-time configuration at RTF level and that log forwarder will send the log for each and every application to the Splunk or we can configure the Splunk appender in log4j.xml and uh, that configuration we need to do in each and every application and that appender can send the log to the Splunk. Here in Cloud of 2.0, we have to have the configuration in log4j.xml and we need to configure the Splunk appender in each and every application and we need to update the log4j.xml and that's where we can put the configuration for the Splunk appender. In this demo, I'm going to configure the Splunk appender in the Mule applications log4j2.xml file and I'm going to send the log to the Splunk Cloud Platform instance. We need a Splunk Cloud Platform instance. For that, I have registered to the Splunk Cloud Platform using this link. Once you register to the Splunk Cloud Platform, you can create a Splunk instance. So I have already created the Splunk instance. Once you create the Splunk instance, you will get an email where you will receive the Splunk Cloud Platform instance URL, user and password. So let me show you the first uh, link where you can register for the Splunk Cloud Platform. So this is the URL. You can go here. Here you can register for the Cloud Platform trial account. You can fill the information and you can create the account. I have already created this uh, account, so I will not going to create it again. Once you register for the Splunk Cloud Platform, then you can create the instance, Splunk instance, and you will get the instance URL and user and password. I have already created the Splunk instance and uh, this is my instance URL. I have logged into the using my user and password that you will receive in the email. This is my Splunk Cloud Platform instance. Once you logged in, you need to add the HTTP event collector. You can go to the settings and go to the data inputs. And here you can add the new HTTP event collector. I have already added the HTTP event collector. So I will go inside. Here I have used the most of the default options. So everything is default. Only I selected the source type. And for uh, index, I selected the main. So you will get the list of indexes. You can just select here and uh, move to the right side. So I have selected only one index main and everything else is default. You will get the token. So you can see the token here. 
this token will be used when mule application will try to send the log to the splunk instance so this is the name of the my http event collector source type main and status is enabled once you have added the http event collector to your uh, splunk cloud platform instance we need to create a mule application here is the mule application that i have already created it have http listener and listener have a path slash logs and i have one logger where i am just logging payload is payload now i will add the splunk appender in log4j.xml file so i need to do these changes i need to add first package name in the configuration element this is the package list that i need to add in configuration element and i can give the name here status is info so i need to change configuration element to this i have already did that so you can see that here my configuration element have now name status and the list of packages these are the splunk and log4j package names that we need to put in configuration element now we need to add the splunk http appender and here is the configuration for a splunk appender that i have already put it in a log4j.xml you can see here so i have added the splunk http appender here is the name the host and source so these are coming from environment variable so for host we are going to put the pod name that is from coming from eks cluster and similarly source is a environment variable name app name and this is the splunk host url where this is the url and we have to put the port 8088 is the default port so this is the same host name that we are using here then i am adding port and this is the token we got the token when we created the http event collector so this is the token that i am using there in log4j splunk appender and i am not validating the certificate so disabling the certificate validation and here is the index so we have to put the splunk index where the this log application log should go in splunk instance we have the index name main and that's why i am using the splunk index name main so all this log will go to the main index if you have a different index you can put the different name here and here is the log layout we can have a cloud hub log layout or we can have a json log layout i am using json log layout here and we can add the key pair value based on the need i am just for a testing i am putting api name api type and i am giving some value here similarly correlation id and time stamp also i am adding to the log so this will print the log that will have the correlation id time stamp and the message and thread detail etc so once we have added this uh, splunk appender we have to add that appender here under async root so here i am adding the splunk appender this is the same name that we are providing here so this name and this name is same so this is all change i am doing in log 4j and this change already have done so i am not uh, updating anything so i have uh, put it those changes three changes that i am doing here as well i am adding the this appender name here under the async root and then i am putting the configuration for appender and here i am changing the configuration so these three change i have done here third change second change and first change 
we also need to change the pom.xml in pom.xml we have to add this repository under repository section and we have to add this dependency so this change also i have done so let me show you the pom.xml here under repositories i have added this repository splunk jfrog.io this is the repository url that i have added for uh, splunk and here i am adding the dependency so i need to add the splunk library java logging dependency these are the two change that i require in pom.xml and three changes we need here in uh, log4j 2.xml these are the changes that i have done in uh, this uh, mule application now i'm going to export this mule application mule application has been exported successfully now i'm going to deploy this exported mule application to the cloud of 2.0 I will go to the applications, deploy application, choose file, so this is the application that I just uh, exported. I need to provide the application name externalize logs to splunk deployment type i'm using cloud hub 2.0 and this is a private space and all other values are default i will click deploy application application has been successfully deployed let me get the endpoint url i will go to the postman i will replace this new url paste it now i'm going to send the request to slash logs endpoint and i'm going to send this so let me click the send button the request has been sent successfully let me go to the any point platform logs so we got the log that we are logging payload is so we got the log in a runtime manager dashboard now i will go to the splunk cloud search and reporting source type as you go to log 4j and i will change the time 15 minute click search so we can see that we have the log id price and electronics let me send one more request and here i will type the electronics i will say ai value id 6020 price 6755 let me send it again we got 200 okay we got the response let me go to the any point platform we got the second log price type id that's a request we send it now let me go to the splunk and i will search it again and here we got the message id price and type ai so log have the logger name and this is a message 
it has the time and thread name we have log level logger name and this is the message that we are sending payload is if you see that here payload is that's what is coming under message dot message and uh, there are more attributes are here thread priority thread id and these are the key value pair that we are sending using configuration so you can see that in log4j we have provided the api name api type correlation id and time stamp these are the key value pair that will be sent in each and every log and that's why we are getting here application name application type correlation id and time stamp so this will be added to each and every log that will be sent to the splunk and here is the host this is the pod name eks cluster pod name where the application has been deployed and this is the application name so source is application name and host is the pod name and that's what we are configuring here host and source so these value are getting populated in the log from the environment variable eks environment variable and that's how we are seeing here so this is how you can uh, configure the splunk appender in log4j 2.xml and we can externalize the mule application log in cloud hub 2.0 we need to do these five changes we need to update the configuration element we need to configure the splunk appender and then we need to add the appender under async root we have to reference that here under async root in pom.xml we need to make two changes we need to add this repository and under dependency we need to add the splunk library java login dependency i hope you understood how to externalize log from mule application to the splunk in cloud hub 2.0 this is all in this video if you like this video click the like button and please subscribe channel thanks for watching thank you very much